I was reading about how on the Bowery, you know, in, in New York City, way back they used to have uh, carnivals. It was a little bit more, you know, anything goes sort of spirit back then. They had, uh, you know, specimens of, of um, you know, say like a Galapagos Island turtle, they'd have it in the formaldehyde go up for, a, you know, give a token and you could see that. And these days, that would be controversial, but I mean, I think, I think modern carnivals are, if not controversial, then scary. Well, like the teacups, you know, these huge metal projectiles that are whisking people around in, in space and, you know, who put this together? And is it going to hold? And is this going to be the time that the, you know, the grandfather in the teacup goes, goes um, bounding over the highway ramp, you know, like over here. You can imagine that happening. What would you say was the golden age of traveling carnivals in this country? And why? I think when they travel by caravans, that was probably very exciting for everyone. But you can imagine sort of um, passing through a, a small Pennsylvania, you know, coal town, for example, and you're a child and you look over the hill and all you ever see when you look over the hill is like a milk delivery truck and then, wow, we didn't know the carnival is coming now. It's, it's right over the hill, it's coming. Do you think it's fair to say that was a time when spectacle was able to build community? And have we lost that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think that would be the sort of thing where everyone would come out and see your neighbor there and, oh, I, you, uh, you know, your pigs ate my, my vegetable garden, but, but, uh, but I beat you at the, at the, you know, at the dunking game or something and, you know, where you, so, you know, we can be, you know, we don't have to fight. I do like, uh, uh, thinking about the, the, the prizes in the old movie theaters when I was little they had um, the mechanical arms where you could reach down and you know, maybe you'd pick up a, a toy truck maybe you'd pick up a bear a little bear a pink bear usually I can understand the appeal the, the kind of the kind of uh, brightness you know the energy the neon and, and uh, the promise of um, of going home with something, you know, like, uh, uh, you know something stuffed, and uh, you know, I, I, I can appreciate that. Long story short, I would really like to understand traveling carnivals. I would really like to understand traveling carnivals. Traveling carnivals. <laughs> Traveling carnivals.